and welcome back. This is Boss Scuba with more Let's Play Secret of Mana. I am joined, as always, by Jake, Yancey, and Shion. When we last left off, we were in the Moogle Village, and jo Yancey, Jonesy here, told us a little riddle, but wouldn't tell us what it meant. The riddle is walk the springs, walk the, the walk the seasons, spring to winter spring again and we may enter that seems quite like a little puzzle and if you're you've been paying attention you'll notice that everything in the background kind of tells you what season it is we're not fighting anything we're just going to run through this hopefully it still works out this is spring we are now done with spring this is summer we need to head through summer uh i am leveled enough as it is i should not have a problem uh for a little while especially with the magics and the weapon levels that i've been getting so i i don't like fighting these enemies most of them are very annoying so i'm going to avoid them as much as i can and that is why they're annoying they cast silence and i can just run out of here silence does stay with you off uh, into the next screen so you want to keep that in mind if you go back <laughs> like I almost did there come on Yancey do not die Yancey they are just crabs uh, if you go back off screen there it will screw everything up and that was from the right that tells you that you have done things properly I need to heal unfortunately yeah you know, everybody. Are you... Are you kidding me? No, Yancey still... Are you kidding? That's how... Okay, this is why... Oh, God, this is why we're running. I don't know if you guys caught that. Yancey was dead. Fully, completely had died. Saw the Reaper and everything. However, we casted Cure before Yancey died. Therefore, uh, Yancey just had zero HP. And then we restored what was left and we have made it to the sprite village because that's what the thing said I'm back what the the village is a shambles in shambles not a uh, shambles what on earth happened hey something's here it sure is and it is boss time we're up against well one of the kimono birds can I hit them they're not gonna let me hit them are they where is the boss here? We're, we're just up against the kimono birds? I can't really hit them without the magic, I don't think. I've always had trouble hitting these guys without magic, so we're just gonna move on. And up here, we're gonna fight the actual boss. We're up against Spring Beak, and if it wasn't casting magic on me, I am out of MP. I would be using what I picked up from Nico, which is Fairy Walnuts. I will need that because the best strategy for this guy is not to try to attack him, unfortunately. See how high up he is? He is a hard target to hit. He is, in fact, weak to Earth Slide. So we are going to be using that on him. Of course, it being level 2 is going to help immensely. 183 damage is always nice, and we're just going to spam that. I mean, that's, that is my strategy for this guy. Earth Slide. 260 because I got a critical there. Let's go for it again. I got two more of those left in me, and to be honest, that should be enough to finish the job here. 275. This should do it. And down goes the spring beak. That's why you need the fairy walnut. It just... Yeah, four of those, and down it goes. It doesn't have that much HP, but trying to hit it with physical damage is just too damn hard. So, very well not strategy it is. Hooray, way to go! And we got a boomerang's orb for that fight. And Yancey has leveled up as well. Very nice. Let's head up here, and hopefully we can find a palace. Very nice. Hopefully we can find out what happened to the village in here, because it was abandoned. It doesn't, like, magically unabandon itself. What's up, old man? Hmm? Grandpa! Uh, sounds like... Is that you, little tyke? <laughs> they never... Yeah. Grandpa, can't you see me? They never give Yancey a name. 
Empire's men came and undid the wind seal. A bright flash stunned me, the others there. This is awful! No! They must have escaped! I suppose so. <laughs> Grandpa! Oh, sad face with the tears. Okay, okay. Tyke! We sprites are a part of mana. That beast couldn't have beat us. But humans are breaking seals and releasing monsters, which are consuming our source of life. Mana. I'll put a stop to that immediately. These two can help. No, you're helping me. I'd go with you if I could see better. At least take Sylphid, the wind elemental, with you. You called master. These young people are now your master. Is so. Genie out. And we have gained a third sprite. Well, not sprite. A third spirit here. Sylphid, uh, known as Jin in Swordman. If you didn't notice. Use Analyzer to learn what magic works on crystal orbs. Use your magic on the orb in this forest to open the way to Matango. It's said a white dragon lives in the cave north of Matango. The dragon can help you. Go now and worry not about me. Grandpa, everyone will be back soon. Me too. Come back whenever you're tired. Let me fix you up. Shall he save my game? He shall. And then he just continues the conversation. Take care. And I will... Seal the mana seed with my power. That's basically what I need to do here. Receive the seed's power. Sealed it. Received it. Whatever. I have done what I need to do with the seal. That makes three of them. Uh, the Water Palace, Underground Palace, and now the Wind Palace here. I believe it's just called the Wind Palace. And we are free to go. Unfortunately, it does not look like um, anybody's coming back into into the Sprite's village. Doesn't look like there's anything else here either. And I could take on the, uh, the Kimono Birds, but like I said, these guys are... I can't get the timing on them right at all. I don't think I'm lined up properly. I think I have to hit them with magic. And I just... Mm, no good at... Well, I don't... I don't want to say I'm no good at using magic. I don't like using magic very often. I like saving it for boss fights because it's so restricted. As you saw there, I went through Yancey's entire MP bar trying to kill that last monster. That was no good. I now need to head back to the Moogle Village so that I can buy another another fairy walnut since I did use that one I'm not trying to kill these guys just getting them out of my way so that I can head up here and I can upgrade the boomerang with what I'll be back once I have done all that oh that is done let's take a look at what we do have now uh, the we can look at it here the boomerang has leveled up to the load boomerang very nice of course, Jake won't be using that. In terms of magic, Xion can now use Sylphid magic. She can use a Balloon, a Thunder Saber, which we have seen before, pretty much adds Thunder to a weapon, and Analyzer, which they mentioned before. Uh, I, that's what I'm going to be using whenever I want to level up the magic. I'll be using the Analyzer instead of these other more expensive things, because it just matters how many times I use it, not how effective it is. For what Yancey can do, once again, uh, well, I should say that most of Xion's magic is mostly useless. Uh, I probably won't be using those very often. Yancey, on the other hand, it is vital that you level up Yancey's magic. Uh, Air Blast, that is going to be the basic damaging spell. We have Silence, which we have seen, uh, you know, throughout this. It, it confuses you, which still makes me, you know, gives me a little bit of pause and makes me think twice. But yes, silence confuses you. And then we have Thunderbolt, the more powerful attack magic. So those are what we have obtained by going to Sprite's Village. Now you might be wondering, hey, where can we go now? There doesn't seem to be anywhere else for us to go. That's because I have not actually had 
head into that spot yet. We're, once again, going to ignore all these things. They are just so freaking annoying because, okay, this guy needs to die. There we go, 115 damage. We need, yeah, all the silk tails on this screen now need to die. Let's see what your brother has done to you. We need to head down, oh shit, that would be a lot of silk tails. And I, of course, don't have a damage, well, yeah, a weapon that can spread the damage around uh, very easily. Is that enough? Down it goes. We need to head this way, which we had not gone before. This will lead us to a new screen with an orb. Now, if you remember the orbs from before, th there was one that was being blocked by, uh, that was blocking our way through lava. This one, it doesn't seem like there's anything in our way. But there is a caterpillar here that does 30 damage to me. He does more damage to me than I do to him. I call bullshit on that. It is a fucking caterpie. <sighs> We need to switch over to Yancey so that we can use Air Blast on the Crystal Orb. Uh, normally you're supposed to use Analyzer to find out which uh, magic you want to use on that, but, well, you don't need to. That kind of, it, it's kind of implied. But those are new enemies, I should say. Um, I, can't, I think they're cra called Crawlers. And that would be that would be an owl there. I hate the owls. They cast confuse. Well, silence, which is confuse, <laughs> which confuses me. It it's super effective on me. There are so many freaking crawlers here. They are actually called crawlers. Is it is it dead? No, now it is. Now let's shake the shit out of this and give me something good. Candy won't fit. So much for that. More crawlers. Um, is there multiple ways out of here? Jeez, this is a huge ass screen. Die, freaking crawlers. I'm trying to level up my weapon skill now. Uh, since we are going to places that I have not been before, I will definitely take out all the enemies again. The slow attack isn't helping anybody, Jake. Ugh, and you guys got whacked by a fucking silk tail. Freaking rabbi clone. And that guy respawned. So I am heading over to the left first. We'll see what's over here. 